cheers Friday once again and uh, today I want to show you a quite rare uh, operating system that was up and coming in the late 90s called POS it was made for the 68k uh, processor line and uh, the version I have is running on the Amiga so let's have a look The first thing we notice is that this is an operating system that loves to make sounds. And here in the about we can see it was uh, done with this uh, pre-release in 1997 for ProDad. As you can see the window borders reminds a bit of Amiga was uh, the workbench. Uh, a user interface. Sounds everywhere. While I have a game of people, I can tell you some of the history behind POS. The POS operating system was created by ProDad as a successor to Amiga OS. It was developed since 1996 and meant to work on different type of processors like Amiga 68K and PowerPC, Apple Macintosh and Intel computers, POS, Transam and maybe even the A-Box. It used a Java-like approach so that POS applications could run on various CPUs without the need of, to be recompiled. The main benefit of POS was its compatibility with standard Amiga systems and the potential to upgrade to faster processors. It relied on adoptable graphics and sound, had built-in networking, supported multiprocessing and planned to work with multiple monitors. It also featured a new and improved DOS system, replacing PCPL coding with C and included standard data compression and decompression during read and write operation. The maximum partition size was set to 1.09 terabytes. A game of Tetris is included. Mm, I can't seem to find where how to rotate the buttons, maybe. Oh, I don't understand German. I have set it to English, but only part. It's only partly translated. Maybe chess works better. How do I play this? Okay. Oops. Maybe not ready yet. And we are back. So, where were we? There is some uh, Mesa demos showing the built-in 3D uh, capabilities. This is of course software rendered on the 68K. This is mostly demos to show uh, what the operating system can do and what's built in. So demos for devel developers mostly. This as well, some software rendered fire demo. This is quite smooth to be honest.
The sounds everywhere would drive me crazy though. <laughs> I think it's possible to turn them off. And uh, this is a pre-release, so they might... Maybe it wasn't the plan to bring them into the final product. This shows some animation capabilities built in that can be used by developers. Explode. Quite cool stuff that was built in. This is their preferences. Uh, everything is gathered in one place. Kind of like, um, in a way, like uh, Mac OS uh, is and most Linux uh, distros do it. So it was quite early on this. Remember this was 1997. So let's try to set some uh, background picture. Not sure. Oh, there it is. It seems to be some render errors, but it could be compatibility issues with my hardware, or it could be... I don't remember. It in includes uh, a few icon sets. At the moment we are... I'm not sure, are we using this, the comic set? has a different color. Sounds everywhere. Let's check all this. Let's check the original. I need to wait. There, it works. Now if I reopen, it has different... Yes, it has different icons. Quite ugly icon set. I think I'll change back to comic. Uh, I need to wait for something. And it's... Yes, it's back. Uh, not a lot of languages installed, English and Deutsch. We can set some mouse settings. And this is how the window behaves, I think. I can move the window by grabbing it anywhere, not just the title. And some settings for serial and sound. Sound, I love sounds. Oh, some sounds I haven't heard yet. I guess it's limitless. And the time. <laughs> even the about uh, I, I don't know this is, looks like a web browser yes it is with the about POS in it even that one makes a sound when opening so it's tell us about why he's doing this It doesn't, yes, it doesn't uh, reach internet, even though the Amiga OS underneath it does have internet access. And it tells us not to complain. I'm sorry, I did complain about all the sounds it made. This looks a bit like uh, Directory Opus clone 
of some kind. Uh, this is the file, uh, I'm not sure what they call it, file handler. It looks very much like directory opus, which is good because directory opus is uh, awesome. I still miss that on modern operating systems. I did find some clones for Linux though. Sound sounds. Let's have a look at the shell. It has tab completion, but in a quite in unusual way. It has tab completion with a graphical chooser. So when you press tab, this window pops up and you choose with the mouse. That's that's odd. I think I saw a version in there. Maybe that shows us the version of. Uh, POS, let's see, version, there's version, yes, it's the 9th of June 1997, POS Workbench. Yes, this is a guide shower, guide is the a normal way to show readme files in uh, in Amiga OS. It's a bit like uh, HTML. Is it any more things I haven't showed? Yes, the time. And some kind of zip drive tool, it seems. I don't have a zip drive, so I can't test this. But there really isn't much to it, so I think I've been through it all. Yes, and this is the web browser again. And this is the same prefs that is in the dock. So I guess that's it. I don't I don't think there's any more things to show you. Quite a fun little operating system. I miss those days. Uh, the huge promises in the horizon of uh, operating system that would change the world. New ideas. I hope we return to that one day, not like it is now with uh, most operating system at least set how you do things and don't seem to change a lot, at least not in a good direction. So until that happens and until next time, cheers. Have a wonderful weekend.